John Singer Sargent will develop a looser, more dashing, realist style. He will train in Europe, and this is going to become increasingly common as we move forward, especially for American artists. He will also be heavily influenced by Velázquez, especially in the painting that we're going to look at and that you see there, The Daughters of Edward Darley Boyd. Here, the daughters of a close friend appear in their Parisian home. Their informal arrangement suggests a familiarity with the monumental artifacts in the room. Let's be honest, in my house, that vase would have died long ago. And what we see is the curious alteration of innocence, where we see the young and increasingly self-conscious older siblings. So as they age, as they get older, we see an increasing element of self-consciousness. So we start with the youngest, who seems very happy to be sitting there. After all, she has no sense of self-consciousness or of self, self at all. Then we have a slightly older girl, maybe four, five, six years old, somewhere in there. She's willing to stand for the piece, but she has that sense that there's a little bit of self-consciousness creeping in. She stands further from us and tries to hold a very formal pose. Then we have a slightly older girl, maybe uh, eight, nine, ten years old, who will stand with the same sort of proper pose, but hides in the shadows, trying not to be seen. There, but not. And then we have the oldest, maybe 12, 13, who leans against the vase, definitely doesn't want to be there. In the 21st century, she'd probably be on her smartphone as the painting goes on. So it's interesting. He captures the developing self-consciousness of the girls as they age. Now, the vase is important too. It gives us a sense of the space, of the family. Obviously, they're well off. We get that from the dress, but the vases stand out too. And the delicacy of the vases can be seen as parallel to the delicacy of the girls in the eyes of Sargent. Now, the random placement of the girls in the informal setting give an air of truth and spontaneity to the work, like we see in Las Meninas, where it appears that the royal couple has just walked in and everyone's suddenly pausing to acknowledge the king and queen. Well, we see the same in Sargent, where suddenly the girls seem to acknowledge the viewer as they've come into the room. Here we see this realist ideal that they should record real people in real settings. You can imagine in any other time period, these girls would be moved. They'd be posed together. Even Rembrandt and Halls in their informal portraits would have placed them in some kind of group with some kind of interaction. But here, Sargent is just capturing what he sees. And therefore, we get this sort of randomness in the composition where the girls are spread out all over the place. They're not creating something neat and clean, the sort of thing we would expect in an earlier artistic period. 